Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I got the LA-150 out here today just because I felt like it. And uh, as you guys may have seen in several of my videos, some that I've removed and some that I still have up, I've expressed my feelings towards uh, regular lawn tractors like the LA-150 and garden tractors. I feel that garden tractors are uh, stronger and they have more capabilities than lawn tractors. And the LA-150 is a great tractor, but I felt like I needed something more uh, something that can do more work than just this I have I have all this good yard space to go through and the LA 150 can't exactly handle it so I started looking into something else my uncle has a 318 he bought it brand new um, it's got a Linamar or well it had an Onan engine in it and uh, now he has a Linamar in it it's got at least 2500 hours on it and he mows 20 acres with it every week, and it does an excellent job. It's it's very beat up, but it's uh, a great runner, very reliable. So I started looking into a 318 on eBay. But unfortunately, the 318 is a very sought-after tractor by many collectors, and they're very hard to uh, come by at a low price, or in my area anyway. So I started looking into something a little smaller. I wanted something that had hydraulics um, and could... could was a little more versatile and could handle more attachments. So I got lucky on eBay one time, one day, and I found this. This is a John Deere 210 garden tractor. I don't know too much about it yet. Uh, built around the same time as a 318. It's a little smaller. Uh, this one is in very good shape. I'm excited to have this. I'm going to restore it slowly, but uh, it's got a 10 horsepower Kohler engine, which I'm real happy about. Single cylinder, it's a good, um, Kohlers are very good engines. It's got a 46 inch deck, I believe. And uh, it's got a manual transmission, four speed with a variator, which is kind of cool. I'm not used to manual um, transmissions. It's got an electric PTO clutch, unlike the earlier ones, which have a manual. And uh, has a manual deck lift too. This is actually stuck in place, but uh, I'm not going to be using it for mowing. The deck is actually going to be the first thing to go. But uh, I went to start it up. I did get it started at one point, but it's got a weak spark, so my grandfather's working on it. Uh, he's across the street there. He's working on a getting a spark plug wrench that fits this. Um, I'm really happy about this tractor, and I'm glad uh, glad I got it. It's in good shape. It shouldn't be too hard to get running again, and uh, I'm excited. So uh, stay tuned. I'll have more videos on this tractor.